Hello, Internet. I'm Greg. I'm Brian. And we're going to do an album review today. Hello, Brian. Hello, how are how you, How are you? What's going on? I'm Hello. doing well. What's, what's going it's on? It's good to see you That's now. That's good. That's good. What were you listening to today, Brian? Oh, today, driving up here. Well, since we listen to a lot of different things, I was listening to uh, Dirk Bentley's latest album called Riser, which is actually probably one of my top contenders for album of the year for 2014, even though I'm pretty sure it was released in 2013. But it's really cool. Dirk Bentley's Riser, really heavy. Uh, is that a country? Yeah, it's yeah. Country, yeah. heavy country. He he <laughs> tackles a lot of dark uh, su subject matter, right? Oh, it's it's a very dark album. Yeah, cool. so it's it's a cool album. And I was listening to that while I was driving up here today. Past that, I actually wasn't listening to too much else. But uh, where where did you go in your musical excursions today? I was listening to Techno Animal, which is a project uh, that was uh, founded by Justin Broderick of Godflesh. Okay, and it's a hip hop. Project. Oh, it's an okay. industrial hip hop project with uh, Justin Broderick of God Godflesh and Kevin Martin of other projects of the sort. Okay, sure. And they 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 employ the the, the vocals of LP and uh, some of the dudes from Cannibal Ox and other experimental hip hop okay. groups of the time. Right. Really awesome industrial hip hop. Industrial project. hip hop. It's great. So okay, so Justin Broderick doesn't rap on it. He doesn't rap. Okay, <laughs> Which I'm not going to listen to it. Now. That's good. Okay. You're not good. The album we're going to cover today is the new album by Film from the Fire from the Evening Sky is the name of the album. Fire from the Evening Sun. Sun. Fire from the Evening Sun. It's such a stupid album. Just, can we get this out of the way? Yeah. We're going to mess this up. <laughs> it's a dumb <laughs> name. I mean, and like the, the, the lyrics have never been a strong point of film, so I'm not really going to. I'm not. It's a, it's a dumb. It's dumb. It's a big, dumb, fucking stupid <laughs> thing is what it. Okay. But that's but, just yeah. the title. That's just the title. The music's different. Okay. Um, someone like me going into this, I don't know who Film is, or I didn't. Okay. I right. do now. Can you tell me who Film is? Film is a trio of uh, pr progressive psychedelic uh, metal that uh, had their debut album in 2012 with the album Harmonic was the name of it. And that was a really, really cool album. I listened to it when it came out. And it was uh, had a, a lot of really big spacey post-rock vibes to it, and it had a large sense of simplistic uh, melody, and they had a great sense of light and space, which is really, really nice. And I, I like that about them a lot. And I was really thrilled about it because Dave Lombardo, this drummer from Slayer, Slayer! So, <laughs> that's what they were like. They, they're not like that. They're, they was very different, and he had a very different uh, style of drumming on it, which really impressed me. And then this album came out recently, and it was different. It was what, what did you think about it going into it? Like when we were started listening to it? Going into it, I had absolutely no idea because I didn't know who Film was going into it. Um, you didn't tell me about their first album at all. Right. And Harmonic being a ver really atmospheric sort of progressive album with a lot of post-rock influences, a lot of wall, like a lot of big soundscapes. I wouldn't have ever anticipated Dave Lombardo doing a project like that. So I just thought this was going to be a thrash album, to be totally yeah. honest with you. And kind of yeah. was. It kind of was, kinda yeah. Was. I mean, like, it, it still had a lot of the psychedelic and progressive influence that uh, the first album had, but not nearly as much. It was way more catered to metal fans, and if I can, in a word, describe this album, in my humble opinion, it would be pandering, man. They just, they took the reviews mm -hmm. that they got on their 2012 album, it seemed to me. I don't know Dave Lombardo personally, I'm not going to go to a luncheonette with him and, and, and eat English muffins with cinnamon <laughs> sugar and jelly and jam. With, with Dave Lombardo with, from with, with Sir Dave Lombardo from England. He's not, no. <laughs> uh, I, so I don't fucking, I don't know them, but I mean, it, many music critics that criticized their 2012 album said, hey, this is, this is Dave Lombardo, but it's not Slayer. Oh, it was Which, like that. It was like that, oh. and that was one of the something that I really defended them for is because I really respected Dave Lombardo's personal decision to go in such a different way. Right. And it kind of felt like they were backtracking. There were parts on this new album that were just so thrash-minded and Slayer-minded. It was like they just needed to appease the people who were like, "But it's not Slayer, though," and that bothered me. I mean, further than that, that sort of initial like, I, I kind of wish they'd done more with their previous sound. It was a good album. 
Mm -hmm. I liked the album. I thought it was put together well, and I I don't want to come off like fuck this fucking album because it's 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 <laughs> slayery because it is. There's a lot of parts in the, on the title track, the second track yes. on the album. There was a part that just sounded like Angel of Death. Right, right. And Everybody I mean, picked up on that, yeah. Right, and uh, it was it was fine, but I just I, I wish they did a little bit more with the sound they kind of started to explore in the 2012 album. Hmm. What were your opinions of it, like overall? I loved it. I mean. Going into it, and for the majority of it, I love the album because I didn't know their first album. I didn't know they had an atmospheric side or a big post-rock side to them. I thought it was going to be a really straightforward thrash album, and I was pleased to hear that there was a lot of um, stoner rock riffs and a lot of groove metal elements to it. And then some aggressive solo sections with... Um, some really cool lead guitar work, by the way. I, yeah, it was. I, I loved it. It was the guy's really name good. was uh, Jerry uh, Nessler. Jerry Nessler. Jerry Nessler. He's he was from uh, this this progressive rock group. I forget the name. This the Eagles. Is, his name was Don Henley. I think you were wrong. Oh. Yeah. Don okay. Henley. He's his name is Joe Walsh. Oh. His okay. Name is Don Henley. <laughs> he is the Eagles. I think and you're lying to me. No. So <laughs> I'm definitely not. But the, the, the guitar the guitar work is something that did stand out to me, because they um, something that they, they are particularly fond of doing in both of their albums they've released so far is they really like simplistic melodies, and this is something that I think they really had going for them in the first album. Yeah. But something that in a thrashy, psyche prog album like this, it kind of detracted. Hmm. I really do because there were there were a lot of. And, and there were times where it worked out. Like there, I know there was a moment where there was a guitar solo, and there was no rhythm track, and you thought that was really cool. Yes. Oh man, that was huge because this is a three-piece band, and they're very groove-oriented at the same time. Now, for three to four-piece bands or bands with one guitarist, you're going to see that the lead guitar track would have a rhythm track under it. But it wasn't like that here. A lot of room was left for the bass, and you you heard this, and you knew it was just a, a three-piece band, and that was it. This was them. Now, if you want to hear a really diverse metal record with a lot of different sections and riffs and feelings and 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 moods and everything, this is a record for you, and you're gonna be you're, you're gonna enjoy it. I think. I, I'd agree. I mean, I think that if you're a sort of person who really likes their thrash and who and can really respect prog in thrash, this is definitely gonna be a cool record. And, uh, but I, my opinion, and I think, I think something that we both shared is towards the end of the record, it did kind of wane and it lost a lot yeah. of their, after Omniscience, which was like the seventh or so track, um, it seemed like it was losing a lot of its steam with like the eighth or ninth track. It seemed like it wasn't really going anywhere. It, it like, the, it got very sane and monotonous, I thought. And, yeah. but what really redeemed it for me were the last two tracks that really yeah, stood out to yeah. me. Which were uh, the the second to last track, which was very much a uh, a return to form. It seemed to me like to their last album, not exactly like that because it did have a big sense of tribalism and uh, it wasn't as spacious, but it still like it reminded me of something that could have been on Harmonic Comfortably. And the last track, which seemed like a it That's reminded crazy. me like a Tom Waits-ish track almost with the piano. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And th that that was something that did stand out to me a little bit. But overall, I mean, it's a it's a solid metal record. It is, yeah. Um, first half of the album is absolutely solid and crazy. You're gonna catch on to what they're doing, and so maybe the last few tracks are gonna seem a little bit you, you expected, I, I would say. Um, but I absolutely loved it. But the thing is, if you're a fan of the 2012 Harmonic album and you're anticipating something atmospheric, you're not gonna get much of that on. Fire from the sun. evening. Fire from my son. I'm my son firing my son. My I'm... son is on fire. My God is the sun. This is the single off of their new album, My God is the Sun. Well, that's film. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. I'm Brian. I'm Greg. We'll see you next time.